it is constant. Our family, that's what our minds revolve around. So the fact that we are sitting at the dinner table and discussing, you know, tires or motors or, you know, just whatever's got to be done the next day to keep getting prepared for where we're going next, that commitment is probably more than most people realize. Stories from the National Tractor Pulling Championships. Situated beyond the outskirts of Indianapolis, you'll find Shelbyville, Indiana, home of the Theobald family and their national champion, Wicked Pulling Team. My dad got us started pulling in 1981. We had gone to pulls prior to that for several years um, while I was a, a kid. I grew up in the sport. My late grandfather pulled in the diesel super stock class, and then my father took that over and uh, also my brother pulls in the diesel super stock class and then they transferred over to the open super stock and I met Doug at a pole and uh, pretty much here we are. <laughs> I was fortunate enough that, that my dad included me in everything that he did as I was growing up, farming, pulling wise. Renee and I had always wanted to have the chance to give that opportunity to our sons and they have latched onto that and it's been very fulfilling to, to watch them. Uh, I've basically been involved in my whole life. I've just grown up in the sport because that's what mom and dad did. His truck was a Willie's Jeep and it was named Wicked Willie. And so we wanted to stay with the Wicked theme. So that's why every vehicle has the name Wicked in it. And I came up with the skull and his truck, the Wicked Willies was all yellow and I like purple. So we incorporated the purple and the yellow together. And I came up with the, the theme. It's uh, really resonated with fans and they really like it. And it's something they feel tied to. I think there's a, a misconception a lot of times as, as to what pulling actually is. It's not a redneck sport. It is not just taking the tractor from the field and taking it to the pole. When people hear it, then you tell them, like, you see how far you can pull a sled. You kind of have to go and experience it to figure out, like, what it's all about. Everything we have here is custom built and a machine shop that's dedicated to building pulling vehicles. I'm not sure they understand the level of competition that's involved, the level of excitement. There's constantly something going on. One of the most powerful sports on the earth. The horsepower is incredible. The different style of classes, the, the different machines in each class, the amount of variety, and you know, every class has something different to, to draw people. Coming back to Bowling Green is like going home. You get there and, and all the people that are there, all the, the blue shirts, you know, it, it's almost like a family reunion. We park in the same place every year. I've been fortunate to do that for 20 plus years. When you're staging and, and getting ready to pull, you're just trying to focus on, you know, making sure that you've got everything in, in position that it needs to be to have a successful run. All the team members have their own jobs too and you, you trust that they have all that taken care of, which is, I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but it is a lot to concentrate on to make sure that all that happens smoothly.
Sitting in the driver's seat of, of the unlimited tractor, I'm not even sure it can be described. It is, it's such an intense rush. The horsepower feel, the, the vibrations, and then trying to keep track of everything that's going on with the tractor going down the track and understanding, you know, if something's coming loose somewhere or, you know, if there's something that, that you don't like, you have to make a split second decision, you know, whether that's something that's really bad or if it's not so bad and your reactions sometimes make or break your pulse. This episode of Behind the Hook is brought to you by Sinpico. Well, we're the Central Petroleum Company and we manufacture heavy duty lubricants. And our target market is farming, construction, anybody with heavy equipment. The Theobald family found great benefits in using our products on their farm. And it carries over to the sport of truck and tractor pulling. We have known their kids, we, the whole team, we watched them grow up over the years. So we've been huge fans. We can't say enough about Indiana farming. Managing four drivers, four pulling vehicles, six engines, and farming 7,000 acres is truly a team effort. So our farm is a family farm. Um, been in my family since my grandfather and grandmother got married in 1919 and moved central to the west part of Shelby County. They started farming where, where we're headed here in a, in a moment. My dad kind of took over when he was pretty young because they, they had him very late in life and have farmed here um, ever since with, with Renee and mom and dad and then our employees and then our, our sons now. Uh, we, we raise waxy corn, which is a specialty corn that goes to the processor in Indianapolis. Um, the name of the company is Ingredion that we grow for. And then we grow uh, about two thirds of our soybeans, our seed beans for Bex hybrids. And then a third of them are commercial beans that goes to uh, Bungie, which is a processor that's based in Morristown, Indiana. We are very fortunate that we, we have good people that help us. Particularly Josh Miles, he he runs the farm while we are competing on the circuit. I, I could never say enough about what Josh does to keep all this operating so that we can be out on the road uh, doing what we do as well. The meticulous work that goes into checking every detail, I mean we take these vehicles down to basically the bare frame and go through them completely. Uh, we check over everything in the engine to make sure that you're ready to go when the next season comes around. Even in between hooks, the amount of maintenance that we do to trying to make sure that everything is ready to go. Like on the Unlimited tractor, the amount of things that come loose on that thing is unreal. I mean, you could look at it for five hours and you'd still be finding things that are loose. We have a good system right now and very fortunate to have that. And yeah, it, it takes a lot. We've got good people taking care of it. Senator Renee Theobald here with the Pretty Wicked Tractor. Great run here tonight. Now we saw you have a little bit of trouble, came back, boot slid over, and made a nice run here to get the winner's circle. Congratulations. Thank you. I want to thank everybody that's standing behind me, uh, all my family, friends, uh, Roger Williams, Josh Miles. With eight total hooks on the weekend, it really is organized chaos for the Wicked Pulling Team in BG. They made it to the winner's circle twice to top Renee and Doug's fifth place efforts, with Grant's best at six and Mason finishing 14th, all in their respective classes. After jostling in the top three all season, Renee finished the year second in Grand National Points, earning herself a spot at the invitation only Enderly Pull Off and proving truck and tractor pulling runs in his blood. Mason collected three wins and seven top five finishes in his very first season as a driver at the grand national level, no less. It's safe to say the Wicked Pulling Team will be competing at the top level of the sport for years to come. Season 2, Stories from the National 
Tractor Pulling Championships.